So you might be in a position where for some reason your iPhone is stuck on basically the iOS update is just not updating. Essentially the update requested panel that comes up sometimes. Now the first thing that you want to do is that if it does say update requested and you just clicked on it, and let's say it's been a couple of minutes, that may just mean that your phone is just basically getting ready to update and it's just installing the updates, it's just downloading the update. There's not really too much you have to do. What I'd recommend doing is just kind of waiting it out until they basically go ahead and send that update out to you. It can take a couple of minutes, sometimes it can take even a little bit longer. So just keep that in the back of your head. It's not a big deal. Sometimes you may just have to be stuck on that update panel and then eventually it'll come to you. Now, if that doesn't end up working, the next thing I'd recommend doing is just closing out of the settings application just like this, waiting a few seconds, and then going back into the settings app just like so, opening up and getting back into your basically your software update panel, and then trying to update once more. Sometimes the update requested may still be there, sometimes they may have gone away. So just go and check it out, see if you can go ahead and delete it, see if you can go down that direction, and then if you can, well then that's probably all you're going to have to do, and that's exactly what I'd recommend doing here as well. Now, if you can't do that or if that's not working either, the next thing you want to do is just try restarting your phone. So hold down the buttons you need to do to restart your device. Go ahead and slide the power off. Give it a few seconds. Power your phone back on. And that may end up fixing the problem too. If you're having any like network connection problems, that could sometimes cause some problems for your device as well. So just go ahead and make sure you're not having any of those types of network problems. Sometimes you may just want to have to go ahead and essentially just make sure you're not on that network or connect to a better network is probably the better way to put it. So connect to a better network, that may be the problem and the way to fix it too. If that's still not working, you may want to go ahead and try restarting your phone once more and trying to update your phone again. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.